So me, this is Pepe Le Pew. Pow, 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 pow. Talking on the throne. So here I'm here to talk about being singles. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm single like a prinkle. I don't know if it's funny or not, but I've been single since... Ooh. I've been single for so long that I can't remember how long I've been single. And to be fair, I'm actually happy singles. Because I don't know if I actually be able to uh, compromise with another um, uh, human being. When... To my, to my many divorces that I have, my last one, I had a child with it. So I decided to, uh, well, to take care of the child instead to get, to get another ladies. So <laughs> I got my daughter when she was three. Now she's 22. And I've been having, I've been being a single dad since she was three years old. Which mean I have been singles since she was three years old. Oh my goodness. I don't even remember how to do it. Should I moan? Should I bark? I have no idea. But anyway, so I'm single by choice because I wanted to try to be the best father that I am and I didn't even want to bring I didn't want to bring a lady that doesn't stay and that my child get attached and it, it will it will not look good. I feel like, you know, it's important to know that it's important to be happy. Instead of to be happy in yourself, then you can find somebody you like. Anyway, so just here, ladies, I'm for sale. Now, as you know, I have cancer, so I'm damaged good. So uh, my price tag is very low. Just let you know. Okay, so, uh, well, single, single, single. So, you know, it's funny. Um, when I was young, younger, I'm still young. When I was young, I was, I don't know how to, how to date. I really don't. I'm the nerf. I'm the nerf. I used to be, I think, good looking with the accent, the six packs and everything. I look like Fabio without the nose. But... I actually was the nerve, so it's hard. I have that body who are supposed to be suave and Romeo, but I'm the the worst nerd ever. You know, <laughs> I'm the first one ever. So it was when I was younger. It was easy. I have the accent, <laughs> hey, and I was a dancer, and I was one of the rare one that was straight. So guess what? I have a lot of choices. I didn't have to work hard. I just have to talk, be nice, don't force myself. I realize it. If that sounds bad, but a good hunter have to wait. So I could have gone to two or three days or even five or ten days before I actually get lucky. I didn't mind at all. I always thought that I want to have a good time with that lady. I mean, good time in life, dinner, theater, movie, hiking, sport, whatever. And then if you have the, <laughs> well, that was the, the cream on top of the ice cream. So I never was, but because of that, I was very lucky. I have the body of the Greek god, I have the accent, and I was not pushy. And what make women crazy, I never, I make them feel I was gentleman, but they never were the number one. So they always have to fight their way into me. That was easy. Now, obviously, I got married many times because I'm stupid. I, I'm a Libra. I, I fell in love every time. Oh, yeah. Two months. Let's get married. 
Oh man, that's not the person that I can realize it. Okay, let's get divorced. Oh, hey, I look good. Three months, let's get married. Well, after a while, I can always blame them, but you know, after 20 divorce, I think it's probably me, you know? So maybe that's why also when I actually have a child, I didn't really want her to go uh, have many divorces. So obviously, and I'm whole and I'm no, no, I'm, my God, I still have the accent. No, I'm because I'm all, I look more nerdy, but no, I, I look nerdy and creepy. No, I'm look like the dirty old man. Hey, hey, come to my car. I have puppies. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, and then again, I saw so many pretty ladies out there. You know, they're wonderful women and stuff, you know. And I, you know, I'm not scared of the Me Too movement because I always was a gentleman. I never forced myself into it. So it's not never have a problems, you know. Um, it, believe it or not, when a young lady actually looks like she's floating in me, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm flattered, don't get me wrong. But I'm thinking, you know, it's like they did my daughter. She's 22. I have somebody who was flirting with me. And I found, you know, and I found out she was 18 and I'm like, oh my God, this is insane. What's the matter with those people? I can't be her dad. So it kind of put it there. And then after, you know, when you, when you get, when you get used to be alone for such a long time, I mean, I wasn't alone. I have to take care of my daughters. But when you have a long, been alone for a long time, it's hard to actually go back out there and date. Even if you find somebody pretty. You're like, oh, hey, let's go have dinner and all this. And over here, there is always that uh, segment of sex, which actually I'm good with this because I like the woman to feel safe. I don't want to go out with a woman. I don't feel like the woman needs it. Like she have to, I'm going to jump over on her any time. It's like, a, woo, 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 like a, you know, my eyes, are, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, I might look, you know, but um, I, I will never, I will rarely do the first move because I, you know, it's, I, and you know, I'm I'm a little insecure. I don't you know I'm all and insecure and I'm thinking, ah, I don't know what she wants from me. And then again, <laughs> I'm broke. So I know I don't have the body, I still have the accent. My hum my humor make me creepy old man. And I'm broke. And I have cancer. What a deal. Anyway, I work I'm gonna work on dating. And then again, I don't know if I want to date. I just want to maybe somebody who want to play tennis with. And sometimes have the oh, <laughs> things, you know. But then again, I can always pay for it. Hey, no shame. I can go to those massage parlor happy endings. At least when it's done, you know, it's cheaper than a divorce. Trust me on that one. Yeah, you get a massage. You get the hey, hey, ho, ho, hey ha, ha. and then when you leave, they don't come back for a divorce. It's gone. No, it's gone forever. And you relax. But anyway, my dating sucks. And that's it. I really sucks at it. So here's me. Now you can make fun of me that I sucks in datings. <laughs> hey. But if you like it, if you actually learn something from it, please subscribe, like, support the channels. Thank you.